Hello, in this tutorial we are going to create this awesome audio visualization player. We will use the Wave Surfer JS plugin and also we will use HTML and CSS. So let's get started. So I have already prepared CDN link font awesome icons, style CSS file, Wave Surfer JS minified script, also latest version of jQuery and script JS file. And firstly, I will create container for the player with player wrap class. And inside of it, I will create element with audio wave ID, which will be used for audio waves. And below the audio wave player, I will create audio controls. Firstly, I will create button for step backward. I will set class btn backward. And inside of the button, I will create the icon using classes fa, fast step backward. Okay, so we have created first button. Let's create three more. Next button will be for toggle pause. So we will have one button for plain pause. Okay, and the next button will be button forward. And the next button will be to toggle mute on the music. And the last button that we will create will be to stop the audio. The class will be btn stop and the icon will have class fast stop. Okay, and once we have finished it with HTML, let's initialize the WaveSurfer.js plugin. So let's firstly initialize our WaveSurfer.js plugin. I will create variable WaveSurfer. And to initialize wave surfer, we need to call the create method. The first and the main parameter is container. In our case, is audio wave. So using this parameter, we can define the container for wave surfer JS plugin, which will be appeared over here. We need to define also the wave. And the wave color, I will set to aquamarine color. And before setting next parameters, let's try to add the music. So we will use the wave surfer variable to call different methods and also to call the method load. We need to use it to load the music. And I will use the wipe track mp3. And our audio track has been uploaded successfully. The wave surfer plugin allows us to add the progress color. So this is the color that will be appeared after the music has been played. I will also set the height 150. Also, we can set responsive to true. We can hide the scroll bar. We are also able to change the cursor color. So this is the cursor. I will set it also to aquamarine light color. We also can set the width for cursor. And as you can see, our bars have now very small width. We can also change it. I will set bar width to five. We can also set the bar gap. Now it looks much, much better. There is also skip length parameter that allows us to skip forward or backward the music. It defines the number of seconds. I will set five seconds. And using this parameter, we will be able to skip forward and backward, but we will need to use correspondent method for this. And before using the methods, let's stylize the player. Firstly, let's set background color for body. I will set width for player 90%. I will also add margin top 200 pixels. Also, I will center audio controls using Flexbox. And we'll set also margin top 30 pixels. And on the next step, let's stylize the buttons. I will set background color to aquamarine. Also, I will set a little border radius, paddings without borders, cursor pointer, and transitions. I will add hover effects to the buttons. I will set a darker background. So now if we try to hover on the buttons, we have a nice hover effect. Also let's stylize the icons. I will set font size 20 pixels and color the same as background of body. Now it looks much much better. And on the final step, let's add methods to the buttons. And I will set when the BTM toggle on pause button is clicked. For this event, I will call the play pause method using Wave Surfer plugin. 
and let's test how it works. Yes, it works correctly. And on the next step, let's set event to BTN backward button. I will use wave surfer skip backward method. And right away, I will add skip forward method. So when BTN forward button is clicked, then the skip forward method will be called. Okay, and also we need to fix the BTN forward class. We need to fix over here. And now let's test how works BTN forward and backward. And finally, I will add the toggle mute method for BTN toggle mute and stop method to the BTN stop. And also, let's check if classes are set correctly in the HTML. And they are. And now let's test the player. And the player works correctly, so we have added the main methods of WaveSurfer.js plugin. You can also use the many methods that offers WaveSurfer.js plugin. You can use it on your website successfully. And thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share video with your friends. As always, all code is in the GitHub repository, and welcome to my next tutorials!